everybody welcome back to the seesaw and another grocery haul and meals of the week video no not meals of the week meal plan video so we went back to football this morning we've had a football match it was just a friendly with another team from caleb's club the team the age group above so they've gone from caleb's team have gone from seven aside to nine aside now and they play on a full half pitch so much bigger pitch than they've been playing on so they just had a little run out against the team that were playing that age group last year. Um, and they actually did really well. They did end up losing 5-4, but the boys played really well considering they'd not played on the bigger pitch and with nine aside before. Also, several of their team were away on holiday, so they only had nine players, so they all had to play the full 60 minutes. So um, with after not playing since March, that was quite tough for some of them and they did start to tire towards the end. But Caleb had a great game in defence um, and it just felt a bit normal really, going back to football on a Saturday morning. No sign obviously for grassroots rugby yet, um, the professional teams have now started playing. But at the club level, local club level, there's just no sign of it coming back just yet. Although we are hoping to start to do some kind of fitness training with the kids um, in September. So yeah, a bit of a normal morning. So then had a bit of a relaxing. We got absolutely soaked because of course, after all that beautiful weather, as soon as we get on the sidelines of the football pitch, halfway through the game, the rain started and about 10 minutes before the end, it absolutely bucketed down and we got soaked to our skin. So we got home, warmed up a bit, put dry clothes on, and then I just relaxed a bit this afternoon before heading out to the store. So I went to Aldi and Sainsbury's as usual. I was trying to avoid having to go to Sainsbury's this week, but there were still a couple of things I couldn't get at Aldi. So I did end up having to pop over there. So I spent £73 at Aldi and another £10 in Sainsbury's. So £83 altogether, which is not bad against the budget. Um, so yeah, I will turn you around, show you what I got, and then as always at the end, we'll show you our plan for our meals for the week ahead. Okay, so there is the sweet. We've got a few different things to try this week. Um, not quite as much kind of pantry stuff. I didn't need as much this week. Um, I had a lot in of what I needed kind of sauce-wise and, um, canned goods and stuff like that condiments and seasonings and things so my tv guide as always a large um kitchen towel we've just been buying these really big ones lately they last longer i really do like the patterned ones i've always liked those but you know when we couldn't get any we were just taking whatever we could find and then i've just settled into using these really big ones um since we've been back to normal um and then i got a pack of ibuprofen as I'm almost out and that is my go-to pain relief medication. Um, half a dozen eggs, we still have about half a dozen left so that puts us back up to a dozen. A King's Mill 50-50 loaf and yes almond croissants for my, have one with my coffee tomorrow morning for my Sunday breakfast. That's become a bit of a tradition as I said last week. Um, tortilla chips, I got the chilli one, so um, Caleb likes the chilli flavoured Doritos. He's really started to enjoy some things with a little bit of spice in now. And the chilli hot Doritos was one thing. So this is the Aldi version of that, we'll see if he likes those. And then I got some thick cut um, Ridge crisps, the variety pack, and some regular crisps. And then Caleb had said if they had fish and chips, the salt and vinegar little fish and chip shapes, to pick up some of them Aldi do sometimes have them they didn't have them but when I popped over to Sainsbury's I spotted that they did so um, I still got in one so we've got plenty of crisps there I probably won't need to buy crisps next week um, they didn't have any cans of fizzy drink apart from like coke which Caleb doesn't drink um, in Aldi at all this week nothing so I just got him a large bottle of the fizzy orange and he can just have some out of that each evening with his dinner um, I got two bottles of squash I got the high juice summer fruits and the fruit and barley peach um, so I will have some of the peach one I quite like that um, between us we'll drink those and then I got him four bottles of the flavored still water the strawberry flavor one um, I did buy a little block of the marzipan, so yes they had the Polish ones that I really like in there but I thought I didn't need a whole box full of marzipan again this week so I just bought myself a little Ritter Sport. I did nibble on some of that on the way home but I'm going to put the other half in the cupboard for later in the weekend. Some chicken stock pots and maple syrup. 
I got frosted Wheaties for Caleb and regular malted Wheaties for Tony. I got some giant straws, haven't had those for a little while, and some of the Moam, Mawa, how do you say that? Moam. I forget, there's an advert now on the TV for them, which I didn't used to be, Maoam, I don't know how you Ma say it, and it's pinballs and the little kind of chewy fruity sweets, and I, I bought some last week for Caleb and I ended up eating most of them because they are quite Moorish, so I bought him another pack. Um, a sausage casserole mix, um, some racer bars, some cookies and cream biscuits, some of these butter biscuits with chocolate on, um, and two packages of ginger nuts, which are my, mine and Tony's preferred biscuit. I like them to dunk in a coffee um, in the evening. Tony just likes them as a biscuit. Um, and these are kind of the treaty biscuits this week. Um, a pack of lasagna. I still have some in the cupboard, but not enough to make a whole pan of lasagna. I was going to get the ricotta and do my own kind of white sauce or white layer for lasagna I'm making this week, but um, they didn't have ricotta at Aldi. And when I got over to Sainsbury's, I just decided to pick up a jar of the white lasagna sauce instead. So it's not quite the same as how I normally make it, but um, it will be a shortcut because again, I'm expecting a busy week this week. I'm only in the office four days and then working at home on Friday and then I'm on holiday for a week. So um, it will be a bit of a crazy week. So I therefore am doing the um, the lasagna shortcut. Um, I grabbed a tomato and basil soup just to have to take to work for a couple of days for lunch this week. I will eat soup all year round. And I'm, I was looking for some of the um, butternut squash sweet potato chopped up to just make my own in the soup maker but they didn't have any. I didn't feel like buying whole ones and chopping them myself because I'm feeling very lazy at the moment. Um, so I just bought a pot of soup for, for a shortcut. Um, one box of the smoothies. So Caleb is now this week again back to his childminder for four days, Monday through Thursday, and then Tony's at home with him and I'm working at home on Friday. And then we're all off the following week. And then the week after that, they will be going back to school towards the end of the week, hopefully. So um, I just got four smoothies. He had been having eight during the week, but trying to get him to have something a bit different for breakfast and mornings as he's now going out and being more active um, kind of at his childminders. Um, uh, Semi-skim milk and an apple juice. I've gone back to buying the two pints of milk now that we're not home all day, all of us. Um, uh, Grana Padano, which is like Parmesan grated, some cheese triangles, sour cream and creme fraiche, which I'm really loving at the moment. I got these sweet pancakes. I thought they would make a good breakfast or um, a little pudding um, for something different this week. Again, we do make our own pancakes. We love making pancakes, but time for that. We will do that when we're on holiday the following week. We'll make pancakes at least once during that week. Strawberry cones for Caleb. And then I really am wanting some of the little mini Viennas. Um, the Aldi do, so I've had them from Iceland, and Aldi do, the vanilla, the mint, and the strawberry, and I see so many people with them in the halls. Every time I go to Aldi, that section of our shelf is empty, no matter what time of day I go. Last week, they had them in, but their freezers were all sealed off because there had been a power cut overnight, and therefore the freezers were all sealed. You couldn't open the freezer. And of course, at that time, they had all three flavours on the shelf. But today, again, none. So I'm really looking forward to trying those eventually. But I did spot these Twinnies. They're vanilla. They're orange ice lolly with vanilla ice cream in the middle. I thought Caleb might like those as something different. But I would also like those, I think, a bit like a Solero kind of um, ice lolly. Two packages of grated cheese. Some of the cooked ham trimmings. Again, it looked really nice this week. I always look at this first because you get a lot more for your money. But if it just looks very fatty or not just tiny little pieces, I don't get it. I'll just get normal ham. But this looked really nice today. We've got two packages of our frozen vegetable mix that we like. Um, haven't got any left in the freezer now, so just stocking back up. And a cheesy garlic pizza bread. Again, I made my own garlic pizza bread. Um, a couple of weeks ago, you will have seen that on our Meals of the Week, but for a shortcut, we really like this one. i got two packages of thigh fillets for two meals this week. I've got some of the pork ribs. I was looking for some racks of ribs. It is really funny because here in our part of the UK, I'm not sure what it's like elsewhere, really hard to find racks of ribs, just, just plain ribs. and You can get them already cooked and flavoured and all of that, but just a plain rack of ribs. 
occasionally Tesco's have them. They didn't have any in Aldi, they didn't have any in Sainsbury's, so I just bought the little individual ribs instead, which are a bit different. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's something that in the States you would just automatically find those in every grocery store because they're such a popular thing, like baby back and racks of ribs. Um, but here we just, I don't know, I don't know why we don't. Mm, I'll have to go, we've got a pork butcher in our town, but I'm just getting into town on the Saturday because the streets are all closed off because it's market day. It's quite hard. Um, and although we have free parking in our town, it is still quite hard to get in and get into town. But I'll have to try the pork butchers and see if I can get any from them. I got two packages of chicken wings. I've got some turkey mints and a side of salmon. So that, you know, that's six pounds, the size of salmon, but it's still much cheaper in Aldi than it is anywhere else. Um, and so that actually, when you take that into consideration... Um, the rest of the groceries were £67, which is really not bad at all. Um, and I like this because I can cut a nice piece, a nice large steak off for a Tony, and then two smaller ones for a Caleb and I. And then a pack of Cumberland sausages, some baking potatoes and some regular white potatoes, and some mini baby potatoes, some red gem lettuce for Leaky, um, a butterhead salad mix for me, um, edamame bean stir fry mix, um, three mixed peppers, some flat leaf parsley and some basil, two cucumbers, we ran right out of cucumber this week so I've just stocked us back up with that, a nice fresh small pineapple um, along with some blueberries and some kiwi, I like that, it's kind of a tropical topping to have with porridge with a little drizzle of syrup, um, or skinny syrup, that's one of my favourite kind of breakfasts, in the, in the winter I like apple with mincemeat, um, in the summer, I like pineapple, blueberry and kiwi on top of porridge with a drizzle of something like, uh, um, I've got a caramel cream cheesecake skinny syrup, that's really nice, and I've also got a toasted marshmallow one. Um, so that's my plan to have that a couple of times for breakfast this week. Some mini bananas, some British strawberries, some lemons, two packs of corn on the cob, and a package of mushrooms. So looking at our meal plan for the week, um, so tonight we're having hot and spicy wings with chips and salad. So I'm going to make my own chicken wings. So using the two packs there, I think one wasn't quite enough because Tony can eat a lot of chicken wings. So I think two, one pack wouldn't have been enough for all of us. So I'm going to make up both um, packs of chicken wings. That's two kilos of chicken wings. So that's quite a lot. Um, but really easy to make your own. You just kind of break them in the middle, break them into two pieces, so like a little drumette and then a, a wing piece, um, and just throw away the tip and then marinate them or coat them in your preferred seasoning. And I'm going to go hot and spicy with mine. Tomorrow we're going to have the ribs with baked potatoes and corn on the cob. So we had cheeseburgers last night, wings tonight, ribs tomorrow. We're having a real kind of American barbecue themed weekend without using the barbecue because the weather's turned awful. <laughs> um, lasagna and garlic bread on Monday. Tuesday we're going to have sticky lemon and sesame chicken which is kind of a stir fry type of meal with noodles and stir fry veg. Wednesday we'll have the salmon with the new potatoes and vegetables. Thursday huli huli chicken which is a bit like teriyaki um, except you make your own kind of sauce for it. it it's quite a sweet sauce, it's really nice. And we'll have that with rice and vegetables. And then Friday we'll have the sausage casserole with mash and veg. So that's our plan for the week ahead. Thank you for joining us for this grocery haul and meal plan. And we look forward to seeing you back here on the Seesaw soon.